In this video, we're going to talk about setting up Ableton Live with SessionWire. It's very simple to get started. We're going to show you three different setups you can use to route audio out to somebody via SessionWire and back in in the later setups. The first setup is very simple, but first we need to check to make sure that Ableton is set to see VST3 plugins. We only offer VST3, AAX, and AU plugins, so you'll want to go into the preferences for live, flip to plugins, and make sure that VST plugin system folders is on, and make sure that the plugins are in your VST folder. Uh, I've got a session here with some drums in it. These are pre-recorded. I'm going to stream them to Robin. And the easiest way to go about doing that, I find, is to flip to the um, session view or the clip view in Ableton. And I'm going to navigate to the VST3 folder, find the session wire send plugin, and drag it to the master track. Now this will ensure that anything that touches the master track in Ableton is streamed to Robin. And session wire defaults to the session wire send plugin for the HQ audio source, which means that anything that touches the send plugin will end up going through session wire. And it defaults to your system output. So if Robin was to stream me audio, it would come straight out of my interface, my Orion Studio 3. So now that I have the send plugin on the master fader, I can flip back to arrangement view and hit play. Can you hear that, Robin? I sure can. Excellent. So another thing to note is that I have auto mute turned on in the session wire app right here. If you click the gear icon, turn talk back auto mute on. If I hit play in Ableton, the session wire send plugin sends a trigger to the session wire app and mutes both my microphone and Robin's talk back coming to me so I can listen to the drums on my monitors as loud as I want. Awesome. Mm, yeah. So now we're going to look at streaming audio into Ableton. At the moment, if Robin streams me audio, I'll hear it because it's coming out of my audio interface, but it won't show up in Ableton anywhere. Would you mind sending some audio over? Excellent. Now I heard that, but it didn't show up in Ableton anywhere. So I want to route it into Ableton by creating a return track. I'm going to label this return track session wire HQ receive. I'm going to set the audio two to external out one and two. Now that means that it's not going to send the audio coming into the master channel. It's going to send it straight to my outputs one and two on my interface. And I'm going to drag the session wire receive plugin onto this track. And now I will go to session wire and change the session wire HQ audio destination to session wire receive plugin. So if Robin plays audio now, Excellent. Heard that crystal clear, and you'll notice that it's only coming in this channel strip and not hitting this master fader, which has the session wire send plugin on it. So Robin heard it cleanly with no delay. If I had if I had uh, left this on master, and he played, it would bounce it right back to him. So would you mind playing one more time so we can see this? That's bad. Kind of annoying. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So now, that. <laughs> so now it's set to audio two. This audio two is set to external out one and two, which means it plays straight out of my stereo out one and two. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the talkback audio going to Robin and coming back. And I'm going to do that by creating an audio track. And this audio track I'm going to label session wire talkback send. And this is going to be my talkback going to Robin. I'm going to change the external in to whatever channel my microphone is plugged into. In my case, it's channel one. And I'm going to put the session wire talkback send plugin on this channel. Now, I don't need to have any output, so I'm going to change the output to sends only. I don't need to hear my own voice. It'll send it off to the send somewhere and it'll disappear. But if I change the talkback microphone in session wire to talk back send plugin robin should still be able to hear me do you still hear me robin 
I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Perfect. It worked. Worked like a charm. You know why? Because I haven't changed the monitor. If I change monitor to in, now Robin should be able to hear are. me. Yeah. So very important to select in in the monitor section on this channel. And that makes sure that the microphone is open the whole time and passing audio to the TalkBack Send plugin. Now to receive TalkBack from Robin, I'm going to create another return track. I'm going to label this session wire talk back receive and I'm going to place the talk back receive plugin on this track and change audio 2 to external out 1 and 2 again and if I change the speaker in session wire to session wire talk back receive plugin and Robin talks and check 1 2 I can see his signal show up in Ableton so now all talk back and HQ audio is being routed through my Ableton session this, these amazing. are, yeah, <laughs> it's quite amazing. These are the three ways that we recommend setting up. The first way though, dropping the send plugin on your master fader is the fastest and easiest way to get set up streaming. If you have questions, you can reach out to us at support at sessionwire.com or you can check out the support website, support.sessionwire.com. We'll see you next time. See you next time.